Welcome to a short presentation in which we will demonstrate the EMC home base method of server migration in a virtual to physical environment in association with EMC Avamar backup management software. We shall be migrating a Windows 2003 Enterprise Edition server being hosted on a virtual machine in an ESX environment to a Dell 1850 rack mounted server. Let's look first at the virtual machine and the build of the server hosted there. A virtual machine name of JS2K3, we find a simply configured server showing installed applications. Here we see some configured storage partitions on this server and also some network shares. Our network configuration is shown through the IP config slash all command at the command line. And we indicate the installation of the EMC home base agent and its supporting service. An Avamar client is installed and activated as shown in the system tray of the desktop. It is to be noted that a home base profile and an Avamar backup have already been created for this server. Moving away from the desktop of our source server, let's now take a look at the browser window onto our home base server and select the recovery button. Here we note multiple home base recovery or migration sessions in various states of completion. A session for our migration today has been created and can be seen in a configured state of readiness for booting of the target server. On selecting view session in this state, an overview of the migration session is presented. This indicates the name of the session, the home base profile being used from the source server, the MAC address of the target NIC. Here we see we are prompted to take an appropriate action on the target server. As indicated by the home base server GUI, we will now move to the console of the target machine where we can power it up. And on viewing the BIOS prompt, we will select the appropriate option to Pixie boot the server, in this case, F12. From this point, there is normally no manual intervention until the server is functionally restored to the target. The home base server has an optional DHCP server internally configured, and this will administer the provisioning of IP to the target NIC in preparation for OS deployment. We see a review of the final server OS installation configuration with specified drivers, home base agent, Avamar client, all defined within the migration session. The target disk is partitioned correctly for receipt of the required operating system. Leaving the server console now, we return to the home base server browser view to see that all of the information from the target console is echoed into a running log regarding this server migration. All future activity regarding this migration is now monitored from the home base server. As multiple migration sessions may be initiated concurrently, an overview is provided to allow visibility of the status of all available and running sessions. Let's select our session to continue viewing this migration. Of course, at any time, we can flip into the target console to view the activity there. Returning to the home base server, we can monitor the installation or deployment of the operating system. The operating system has now been fully and successfully installed, and the home base server will now enter the OS preparation phase by instructing the installed home base agent on the target to recover the appropriate operating system configuration data from the base profile generated on the source machine. The recovery of the base profile continues 
and is generally completed within one to two minutes. The server then rebooting under the control of the home base agent. Once rebooted, the home base server will instruct the Avamar client to perform a restore of application binaries and data to the target machine. You may note that an exclude list created during the base profile recovery is passed to the Avamar client to exclude hardware specific components from the source server, which, if restored, may compromise a successful recovery. Following successful data restore, control passes back to the home base server to drive the recovery of the restored binaries and data into functional working applications. It does this by performing an intelligent merging of appropriate registry information from the source server into the new stable registry of a brand new operating system. A final reboot and the migration is complete as seen in the session log and in the overview. Let us now return to our recovered server console where we can examine the successful rebuild of our target machine. Here we can open a Microsoft Word session We can open an Adobe Reader session to view a PDF file. And let's finally look at our storage where we have our partitions created, our network shares are visible. And that concludes this short demonstration illustrating the ability of EMC Homebase and EMC Avamar to successfully recover the configuration and functionality quickly and with a minimum of intervention from a server running within a virtual ESX environment to a physical server within the farm.